alright, child. Everything's gonna be alright. Everything's gonna be alright, yeah. Everything's gonna be alright, child. Everything's gonna be alright now. Everything's gonna be alright, no woman, no cry. Please don't shed no tears. No. So after I left Nashville, uh, where I was a uh, singer-songwriter for a little over a decade, uh, I became a psychotherapist. And uh, one of the problems that you encounter, of course, in being a therapist is that you can't help everybody. And this song was inspired by the suicide of one of my patients last year. Free now, my love. You're free now, my love. You're free now, 
So a little something dark, a little something uh, a little lighter. This one's a um, uh, version of Girl from the North Country that was popularized by uh, uh, the Silver Lining Playbook, if you all remember that movie recently. Bob Dylan and um, Johnny Cash.
Regulars. Oh man, he sings so loud. This has to be quiet like this. Those of you who are regulars know about what time it is. I'm going to come around with this hungry tip box. Whatever you can put in this wonderful tip box. He doesn't have CDs for sale. He doesn't even have. I, mean, I asked if he wanted to offer to sell the clothing off his body, and he said no to that too. So really, the only way he can he can recoup his. You're like, oh man, I wouldn't have bought that. This is crazy. Um, please show your appreciation by putting whatever you can in this box. Um, there's nothing in it yet, but I, hope, I have the high hopes that I'll be able to hand Andrew like this wonderful, overflowing box of twenties, not just singles. You tell him about iTunes. I hear there's this wonderful digital revolution in the form of iTunes. You have an iTunes store? Andrew Wallen. Just look up Andrew Wallen, W-A-L-E-N, on iTunes. He has a book too. And also James Bond. inspired by some of my patients.
Last song. Anybody familiar with Donny Hathaway? Anybody know what happened to Donny Hathaway? He unfortunately struggled with severe mental illness. He had schizoaffective disorder, um, and he killed himself uh, at a very early age. I think he was only 33 years old. Very sad story. He was one of the most talented men. Uh, I ever knew. I had a chance. Well, I went to Berkeley College of Music, and I got to actually know his daughters, Layla um, Hathaway, and uh, and and her sister, who I'm blanking on her name. I feel bad. Um, beautiful, beautiful family. Uh, he took a song that was from the 1920s. For all we know, that was a very upbeat uh, jazz tune, and made it a beautiful, beautiful. Uh, blues ballad and uh, so I'm going to sing this one a cappella for you Thank you For all we know we may never again before you go make this moment sweet again we won't say good night Come 
and we go like the ripples of the stream. So love me, love me tonight. Tomorrow was made for some. Tomorrow may never come. For And Steve Korsboff. <laughs> well spotted, sir. Give us just a sec. We're going to switch things back over. We've got Matt Nicoa coming up next. Uh, a wonderful artist from New York City. Very, very glad to have him in the room. Uh, you got time to demand more contact information from Andrew to say, oh, man, make sure I'm spelling your name right so I can find you on iTunes later. But shh, not, not right now. We're going to get on with the list. We've got a lot of people to go through. Not much time. We're going to do this thing. Andrew, where'd that cable go? Right back there. Excellent. I just decided I wanted to do a song on your talk just a second ago. So. Just to make my life hard. I'm going to start with the keyboard. Well, then I'm not going to plug that in here. Check, check, one, two. That's not what I want. Sound check. <laughs> <laughs> 